got it all tacked up for now and it spins freely this is the H22 I'm reusing this flange I just re-welded it and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna brace this up like so I'm gonna box it in I could not use this mount area right here there's really not enough room to put the bolts in yeah too bad I could not use it but I think uh, two of these will be good enough I think as long as I'm gonna box it in so it would not move or something since it turns this way the forces were gonna try to lift it up so if I could brace it from here to here I think I'll be okay I'm not sure if you guys could see a gap right there so what I'm thinking of is drill a hole here and make a slit and bend this so that way I can weld it once it has an opening on it so it will be something like this I'm gonna open it up like so then I'm just gonna weld it or make a hole completely then weld it around it so it's more like a, a spot weld and then uh, and for the top right after I have weld this area I'm gonna put a gusset so it will be something like this I think that should be sufficient enough somewhat put a hole in it I'm going to put a spot weld on there Before I finalize this, I have to make sure that <laughs> it didn't uh, bend on me or not be able to uh, to turn the, uh, the shaft. But uh, as you can see, it's all good. And I'm going to finish this off with this. Welcome back to the channel everyone, Sagitnet 2. This is another G2B, H2B project. I finally come to a point where I am going to find out or we are going to find out if my assumption was correct regarding the H22 half shafts being shooed in on the EK chassis. That's the EK mount, but I do got one here. Uh, very inexpensive I just want to try it out and uh, yeah I don't have to uh, change this I'm gonna use this for now and uh, I want to find out if I do have a clearance for my power steering but before I shoot this in this is more like an update also at the same time I'm gonna show you what I did on the H22 half shafts and also the bracket uh, the bracket I didn't show much. I have added a, a reinforce at the back of this. Yeah, you hardly see this 
when I was showing it earlier. But uh, yeah, this is this will prevent it from flopping around a, a little bit. And as you know, this is for the other side. And this is what I did on the H22 half shafts right here. Uh, I'm still not done on this one. I could hardly put a bolt in here, but what I have decided on is to uh, add a plate right here with threads on it. And I'm going to weld like an ear piece right here and a hole and then the bolts will be coming through here. But the plate behind it will be permanently bolted right here. Yeah, because I have no room here. I thought about extending a leg through here, but it doesn't do any purpose. This thing will try to uh, lift it up. So I have to uh, be close to the mount as much as possible. I think that will help tremendously for this thing not to move around. But I do have to replace the bearing on this one. But this is what I did to the H22 half shaft right there. So that's how much clearance I have right there. But I do have to chop more like the oil pump right there. Hopefully I don't have to shave a lot. But I have another oil pump here as you can see. This ear right here, I need to really shave that area right there. On the last episode, I said that I'm going to open this up before I mark it up on the engine bay. I'm so excited to get the result if my idea will work. So I said, you know what, let me just do this real quick. Make all the necessary bracket and all that. And if it's going to work, then take it out. Plus, I wanted to make the short block with the cylinder head outside the engine bay. I would have more better uh it will be more flexible for me when i put all the timing belt and everything yeah that's why plus i got more things that i need to do on this one so yeah oh i forgot this is the b series uh rear t bracket and all i did is well everyone knows if you're using a b series on h2b this thing is not lining up correctly so that's what i did right there Okay, so uh, yeah, let's try it on. And also, as you can see, I got the uh, car jack top because I'm going to put this or fit it in from underneath. If you ask me, it's a lot easier to do it this way, but make sure if you do this, some of you that have not done it, make sure you do it in a safe way, in a safe manner. Yeah, make sure that your safety is not jeopardized. Uh, as you can see, I put some chocks on it, both sides, release the parking brakes. Uh, that way it'll just go up, it'll rotate on its axis. If you didn't release the parking brakes, that's okay too. It will work both ways, but make sure you are doing it safely, okay? I got two jacks in there, I got this one right there underneath. I'll be coming from that side. You know, on a motor like this, if you have the H22 transmission, it's a lot easier to do it this way. Yeah, rather than doing it from, from the top. of a clearance there let me bolt the uh, transmission first but uh, yeah, it looks like there's none 
Well, so far it's not good. I'm gonna end up having a, a fully custom bracket on this one. It has not been a productive day today. Somehow the rear teeth bracket would not align. I tried to use all the B-series uh, engine mounts, like this one here. I started here on the transmission. And then when it comes down here to the rear T bracket, the mounting holes would not line up. This is where it should be. It was really off. In the beginning, I put a mark on it right there. And look how off center it is. So if I line this up, this will go, it will swing to the left. And one thing I also found out that I cannot use my F23 post mount. Yeah, it would not work with the B-series. I have, I have to come up with a custom one. I'll give it some more thought and see what I can come up with. But it is for sure that I'm going to uh, shift this one just like the, a normal H22 swap to have that clearance under there. This is where I'm at. No production whatsoever. But I do like how the uh, axle, that napkin right there, Yeah, it's pretty much like it's all aligned to my knuckle. Yeah, that I like. Unlike the normal H22, it's really in an angled. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. This is where I'm going to end this video. And man, yeah, um, man, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, more work. I think if I give myself uh, a few days to give some thought, I'll come up with something real quick. Okay? Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys back. Bye, everyone.